Hello and welcome back to my tutorial on building a shopping cart. For this tutorial I will be starting off the development of the technical side. I will be building the DVD class which I talked about before. Right now I'm, I have built a website with a database and have two movies filled in with it and uh, it is showing up in a data list. I won't be showing you anything on how to build the database or any of that. I will just be manipulating the database via taking uh, entries out and building the shopping cart. Okay. The first thing you need to do is put a folder to keep all the classes. So how you do this is you right click on the project, add, new folder. Now, you can name this anything really. I would like to name a class. From here, you right click, add, and then class into that folder. You select a class file and then you name it. For mine, because it's a DVD shop, I'm calling it DVDs. Click add. Okay, now it comes up with a set class, the default of what is put in there. The first thing I'm going to do is delete the namespace and add another class. So using system dot data dot SQL client and using system data dot semicolon. Okay. Then I'll click control K D to format the thing. The whole project. The first thing I've got to do, you have to do, is put in four parameters. This is, they're all public. String, the movie name, get, need four parameters, I just like to paste them all. Now you, the second one will be a decimal. The other two can remain strings, you just need to change the name. This one will be price. This one will be synopsis. This one will be cover. These are the four parameters that you need. They will, will be filled in by the constructor. Okay. Next is, of course, to build the constructor. So it's a public DVD. And then you need to pass in a parameter, which is int movie. This parameter will be used to access, when accessing the database, to search for that movie. It will be the ID of the movie. The first thing you need to do is to build a connection. I like to start off this by using strings because it just makes the code look a lot cleaner. For this, you need to find a connection string. You, you don't type it out yourself. All you do is you go up to the uh, object of data source, configure data source, click this plus, copy this, 
and types it in. If you have the directory in there, you have to get rid of that. Uh, quotation marks around it, so it's just one long string. This isn't actually the connection, it's just the text for it. I'm putting all the text in first, and then we'll build the objects. The next one, the next thing we need is the command. I'll put the name command in. From movie, which is a table's name, where movie ID equals single quotation mark plus movie. Remember, that's the thing that's being passed in, and you find out about it. Remember to catenate the whole string. So the, as I was saying, the ID is being passed into here, and it'll all be sort of out find the name from this one. I need to find three other things. So what I'll do to make it quicker is just copy and paste this, and that way I'll just need to change really two things on each line. Cost. And finally, cut. Okay. Now, this one, movie first. Movie synopsis. Movie cover. So these are the three SQL commands, text. This just makes it cleaner for when you're creating the actual connection object. You see, we use SQL connection. SQL connection. Roll over. Equals new SQL connection. And I'll just use the one. You see, if I didn't have this, I would have to type all this and that and make it look quite unmessy. Quite messy. Now we need to make the commands. SQL name. Copy and paste that four times, and as I did before, change this. So that's actually built the command objects. This is the connection. You need to use the connection and the command objects together to actually be able to execute it. So now I need to use XQL connection. So 
So I'll copy that. Now the final thing to do is to actually open up the connection. And then of course the final thing to do is fill up all the parameters. So this movie name equals convert. Two string L name name, and because it's only one value we need to do, it's execute execute scalar at the parameters that you finish. Now you copy it. Control K D. Make sure the code's formatted. So it's easy to read. And do the same thing. Final thing to do is close the connection. This is just to save uh, resources. Okay. So just to go over this one more time, you create this class, you import these two libraries so that you can actually use the SQL connection, SQL command, because they won't come up if you don't have these lines. Have your four attributes which you need for the DVD object. Uh, create a constructor using a ID which is passed in and then you to find all the values of the specific movie that you're looking for. Create a connection and then create the commands and open the connection finally. And then to fill these items, you need to say this, the move name convert to string or, or decimal, and then have the SQL command to execute. And then finally close the connection. Okay, I hope this has been clear. I hope you understand this from my explanation. Uh, Next thing I'll do is the actual shopping item. I hope you watch that as well. Okay, thank you for watching this. Goodbye.